Do you think it is worth it to spend about 700,000 naira, which is almost 700 pounds, to cargo foodstuff to the UK? Or do you think that, I mean, you might as well buy foodstuff from the African stores? Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Genevieve. For those of you meeting me for the very first time, nice to meet you guys. Thank you for clicking this video and spreading by my channel. And to my returning subscribers, you guys are the oldest. Welcome back to today's video. On today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you guys all of the food stuff that I cargoed from Nigeria. These are three boxes of Nigerian food stuff. If you've been following me on this channel, you will know that I recently moved to the UK with my family and i am a sucker for nigerian food like quality nigerian food i love nigerian food a whole lot and you cannot do anything to take that away from me guys so i brought some things from nigeria when i was coming i bought a lot of food stuff while we were coming our entire luggage was about 70 percent food stuff and 30 percent other things that we brought along so this food stuff will be eating it for the past almost 11 months right we landed the uk in october and this is august almost in september wow almost 11 months now so we've been eating the same food stuff and we still have like baits and bob remaining and then we thought we should order more food from nigeria so guys i want to show you guys everything this is about 86 kg worth of food stuff that's a whole lot of money about four hundred thousand naira to do the cargo and the entire food stuff cost about 300k to buy everything that uh, was cargoed 300k minus the logistics in nigeria let me just say the food stuff is 300k and the cargo is about 400k so everything cost about 700k worth of food stuff to bring this thing up to the uk just ignore the noise in the background. Everybody wants to be with me right now that I'm doing this video. Everybody wants to be here that I'm doing this video. These children. Ha! It cost me about 700k to bring everything here. So you guys, I want to know what do you think about cargoing food from Nigeria to the UK? Do you think it's really worth it? Do you think that it's better to just buy the things from African stores, you know? Or do you think it's better for you to buy and cargo? What do you think? I really want to know your opinion. When I started the process of getting this food stuff, my budget was not up to 700,000. But after I've got finished doing the shopping and putting the things together and I got to the shipping company and found out that it was almost 400k to do the cargo, I was kind of stuck. I, I it was a, it was like a journey of no return at that point and I didn't want to, you know, let start letting go of the things that I've already bought okay so guys i want to know what do you think for me i think that the cost of shipping has currently increased in nigeria making things very very expensive and making the cargo to be so expensive if the cargo was more affordable or cheaper like it were when i started this process i think it would have really made a lot of sense to me although doing the math it still kind of makes sense but not as much as it would have made if cost of living in Nigeria was as affordable as it used to be and also if cost of shipping was still also cheaper than it used to be. So I really want to hear what you guys have to say about this in the comments. While you, you know, tell me your opinion in the comments, let me unbox and show you everything. You can see that these two boxes have already been opened. These two boxes came before this one. This one just came in today. This one came in before this ones came in before this so i already opened them to see some of the things that are in them i'm going to bring the camera closer to give you a closer view of everything that is in the box okay hey guys i couldn't find the pen knife around so i had to use fork <laughs> to open the tape Jasmine was the one that helped me to open the other two, but I don't want to call her there. Her wallet is too much, this one. Ah! Um, I should call Jasmine. I, I will need that knife from. Alright guys, finally. I got the pen knife, right? First of all, I must really, really, really um, comment the 
the logistics company I used, the delivery was very swift and no hassles at all. Everything came in like, anyway, I wouldn't say because I'm still opening the last one, but for the, the two cartons that I've opened, everything came in like in very good condition, right? Are you serious? No, I was wondering why. Why did you look at the stage? Ah, I see what it is bad. Hey, Jesus Christ. You know what? I think I'll just. Guys, after unboxing this, look at everything. Look at. After unboxing the entire food stuff, let me get this light closer so you can see. Now, I. I certainly understand the reason why it was up to 86 kg. Okay, I'd already arranged this thing to face this way. But because of the light, I have to face this way. So guys, please manage. So this is a goosey. This is one pint of a goosey. This is ukwa ukwa. This ukwa is about 100 cups of ukwa. Which is actually quite a lot. Then what I don't understand is all this magi. I don't know if my son-in-law added some more magi on top of this magi. Because this magi is actually... A whole lot. This is not all the magu. There's still some. You know, I told you that I've brought some bags. I've already packed some up. I don't want to start bringing it down. Like there's a lot of magu in all the boxes. Each boxes that was just like magu, magu, magu. I mean, billion cubes, different types, assorted types. I know I just said add like 10, 10 pieces. It's so much. This is uba. This is dried uba. This is dry bitter leaf. This is abacha. This is abacha. Came in two wraps. That's not gonna dress up, okay? This is about I came in two wraps. This is Gary. This is fish, stockfish head, stockfish head, stockfish head, stockfish body. All right, guys. So this is Obono. This is um, Kuli Kuli. Uh, this is dried prawn, Oporo, crayfish. I didn't want to do plenty of crayfish. I even brought pepper. <laughs> My God. So these are all dry fish, a mix of catfish and asa adjustment. Asa fish, that is so adjustment. Asa now, uh -huh. So this is beans, so lorry beans. And then these are all um, spices. Uh, there is ehuru. And you guys, I love bala fish a whole lot. So this is the ground fish head and the fish itself. I love bala fish a lot. And there's just a lot of other things. This is snail. This snail. I've also used this snail to cook. I'm going to show you guys. Once you soak it in water, it comes up and it feels like fresh snail. Kinda. So this is abacha. This is another abacha. And you know that most of this is because I get to cook for people and all. So, I mean... That's why I got some of these things. So I'm going to tell you people my take on cargoing things from Nigeria. What you should and what you should not. Okay. So guys, on this issue of cargoing things from Nigeria. Bye, Jazz. On this issue of cargoing things from Nigeria. Here is, yeah, there are a few things that are not worth it, to be very honest. Like, I spent a lot of money on these things and... Seeing these things come to me right now, there are some things that are clearly not worth it to spend that amount of money. Because I understand that some things in the African stores, when you buy them, they must have lost taste because they are in a shop. They've stayed there for a very long time and the taste is even gone. Like I bought Ukwa from an African store when the Ukwa I came um, to the UK with finished. I bought Ukwa from African store and the taste was definitely different. The taste is nothing like ukwa at all. It had this store taste, something that has stayed in the store for a very long time. It was just not it at all. So 
for the ukwa i brought is definitely worth it to bring your own ukwa but you see things like gary those things are daily um goods that people buy almost every day people buy gary every day you can't you can hardly see an african store have gary for a very long time it will spoil you see things like gary is always something fresh gary will spoil if it stays uh, for a very long time you see beans beans will spoil you will see beans when it's not good so beans goes off fast this will already beans. in fact there was a time i went to wholesale markets in birmingham and we went to an african store there before our eyes my friend and i the beans they were just rushing it rushing i was like ah what's up with this beans? like i'm rushing it like this before we knew it beans has finished so it made no sense bringing beans. it's not like it made no sense but what i'm saying is i mean why should i spend all that money if they, if they wear these beans now and how much i bought it is not even adding up to how much i would have spent to just buy the beans here do you understand so things like beans gary spices i said it in my video before things you shouldn't just bother bringing to the uk if you're coming spices are everywhere here but i just felt like i needed a nigerian taste of jello fries when i use nigerian spices to cook jello fries it hits differently from when i use the spices i get me from caribbean stores or asian stores so but then all those spices are still in african stores and spices are things that will always be fresh like you cannot store spices for a very long time people buy spices okay so um spices uh, is not worth it Gary is not worth it at all. And also, uh, what else is not worth it? Base is not worth it. These three things are basically the things that are not worth it that I think don't even bother. Don't even bother yourself at all to buy. What else? So, this is sweets. I brought these sweets not because there are no sweets here, just that I wanted my kids to have this sweet and to think that this is not even the particular sweets i wanted them to have but i mean the sweets are here anyway so this one now no try i it's just for them to have a few in fact if you if you had left it left me up to that i've gotten this like cheese balls you know a lot of snacks from nigeria they used to enjoy i just wanted them to have that nigerian taste but guys if you're doing cargo just next cargo that i'm going to be doing right i'm going to particularly focus on local spices like my ogiri oh my even though ogiri is here right but because i cook a lot i cook a lot with ogiri i don't think there's anything that i cook without ogiri right now because i've completely eliminated salt and i'm gradually trying to eliminate a lot of other things so ogiri is the healthiest of spices for me so you see ogiri okay and all those local local spices all my fish i love to cook with fish a lot so all those fish you can't take it away from me so on in general i think it made sense however there are some things that i wouldn't order from nigeria again if i'm doing an order i don't know if this video helps anyone i don't know if you find it helpful this video like disturbing me just go i'll give you go 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 when i'm done if you're here i will not give you go when i'm done i'll give you so guys i hope this video helps you i hope you find it interesting tell me in the comments do you think it's worth it do you think you should just go to the african stores and pick whatever you want or do you think that cargo in these things are just okay okay as i finish buying these things and the only thing i need from african store is just fresh vegetables to cook or ha ugu all those very fresh green vegetables guys so tell me is it worth it for you or you would rather not go through these hazards tell me in the comments guys i look forward to hearing from you guys drop your comments please let's chat in the comments see you in my very next video bye guys